good day, El Paso. Your local drunk caller here, Charlie, a.k.a. Dumpster Daddy. And Holler, honey. Yep, we are on our way to a client's house right now. Um, we have been busy. It's been an active day. Uh, Bianca has something going on right now um, on the east side of El Paso. So since we are going that way because of a client, she's riding along. Um, and I'm going to take her to her. What you what you doing? I'm running a 5K to benefit the El Paso Child Crisis Center. I hope I'm saying that correctly. I, you might be. <laughs> yes, I'm running a 5K for the Child Crisis Center. It's called Kicking Asphalt. <laughs> Kicking Asphalt. Mm -hmm. Kicking Asphalt. So I'm doing the 5K. There's also a 1K run fun, fun walk mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. Good deal. So, yeah, we have a couple of clients over here on the East Lake side of town, east side. Um, but uh, while we're headed this way, um, something I wanted to get into with you, I've been talking with the uh, YouTube verse, talking with, you know, the social media sphere about, um, you know, the foundation we've been laying here at Dumpster Daddy. But uh, one critical piece that I got into was talking about our experience during 2020 when you came up with a plan, I guess we both came up with a plan. We did the Dave Ramsey's baby step thing and um, we started chipping away at our consumer debt and auto loan debt. And, and you came up with a strategy. Some money was given out by the government. Some money was given out by, by banks, mm -hmm. uh, interest free. Mm -hmm. and, and you came up with a plan, Mustang, and we we'll pulled over Camaro too. And you came up with a plan to get us out of debt, which is how we are here right now, able to do Dumpster Daddy. And I am actually able to do this full time because of you getting us out of debt. So can you can you go into a little bit about what was your mindset behind um, getting us out of that? And what, what was like, what were you thinking about our future? How were you thinking about our future? How was I thinking about our future? I mean, what a question! <laughs> because in order, in order for us to get here, I was determined right now. Because I was always determined to spend money, and you was always determined to make sure money was not uh, an issue for us. I was determined to make money work for us. Yeah, <laughs> not against us. And I was, I was always wanting to spend it on a on a new toy. <laughs> and I, I'm not, I had no problem with that, but we just had some other priorities we needed to take care of. And namely, our future, because our future was in question. Not us together as a couple. I'm saying for work, where we're going to live. Just, you know, there's a lot of uncertainty. Look, weekend warriors. There was a lot of uncertainty at that time. So because we were gifted a lot of time to sit and wait and wonder what was next, I decided that we really needed to implement those baby steps and we need to get rid of our consumer debt. And that could give us some freedom to make some different choices whatever the outcome was at the end of the day meaning mm -hmm. what was going to happen with our jobs so going through the baby steps i attacked it looked at our consumer debt looked at our balances okay what can we reasonably do with that um so we started just chipping away at that while we, we were, were this during this time when we first started we were the, the pandemic hadn't happened yet Right. It was the beginning of 2020. The so beginning. Was, there so was we some were still working whispers <laughs> and we were still getting a paycheck we're from still getting a paycheck from the company. We were still putting in our our man hours. We were still planning on having our wedding. We were still April of 20. On, I said May in the other vlog. Yeah, and you corrected. Did. Me, I did so. correct him. It, it doesn't matter because that date never even like. No, never. It happened. didn't happen anyway. So, yeah. So we were just planning a future. We were planning our wedding and we were planning our life after so so wanting to get out of consumer debt was that initial driver and then once the pandemic happened and priorities changed and just we had a lot of time on our hands I said we really need to give ourselves an opportunity to just make some different choices we we can do this we, we've been gifted this time this is a terrible situation that's happening in the world but we can make the most of it and that's what we did so with paying off our consumer debt with paying off school loans with using different programs that were available at that time 
including one from their credit union. And I'll I'll tell you this story. This, This is pretty wild. So credit union was offering these emergency loans for folks that have been furloughed and that we were in that category. And so I took out one initial loan and then paid that off. Then I saw that they were offring fifteen thousand dollars. Now, now, now let's let's just track back a little bit. Okay, the company back. has laid us off. We are now oh yeah we were at late. home sitting yeah. at home staring at each other, um, yeah, and figuring out what what it, what our plan was going to be because everybody as everybody knows during the pandemic huh. during those first two weeks. Um, we were just like, okay, so it's just a two-week shutdown. Well, which for Florida, it was just a two-week shutdown. <laughs> it was. At first, it was a little bit longer. So, but yeah, but anyway, so we were getting our unemployment check, and the government had started pumping out some some change. They did. But I also knew we needed to pay off Charlie's car. I had a car that I was ready to sell. So just. Hey, what, how can we do this? How can we let's say sell my car, get some quick capital, and then pay off your car? And and how how do we make this money work Before for us? Before you could sell your car, Before I could, you had to pay it off. So so then I saw that the credit union was offering this program for fifteen grand, no interest for an emergency loan for those for those employees that that were furloughed. That that this was definitely in their future so i call them and i say hey i want to take advantage of this offering and they go huh what offering and so i explained what i saw on the website and they said oh hold on hold on let let me let me put you on hold let me let me find out about this (laughs) these folks didn't even know that they were offering this stuff so i had to bring it to their attention when i requested it it. and it was yes it was on their website it was for the emergency funds for folks that needed it so here I was saying okay we need to pay off Charlie's car and this is how we can do it so they come back to the phone and they tell me oh yeah we we do have this Mm -hmm. this loan or you know this loan program I said great sign me up so a little bit of paperwork later I had that money in hand and I said Charlie I said we're gonna use this money pay off your car and you're going to get your car in your name, and we're going to be done with these banks. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. She had to talk me down because I was like, I want a new computer. So I was like, I'm going to buy a new computer. She was like, hey. And I said, no. Hey, no. I, I got this amount of money, but you need a little mm-hmm. skin in the game, too. Because early on in our relationship, I had told her, since she was going to be the one over the finances, you know what I'm saying, um, when I decide I want something, if she thought it wasn't a good idea, she had to tell me no. And when I decide to, pr- to pout like a little brat, she just smile and say, Portia, want one. And she just smile and, and let me pout like a little brat and get over it. And that's what she did. And that's what and I then did. We got the money. Uh, she said, you're going to have to put a little bit of the money that, you know, a little bit extra money on top of what we took out for the loan to pay off your car. And I was like, Ugh, I don't want to do it. And she was like, hey, what did you tell me about some, about doing what? putting some skin in the game yeah she was like look if you if you want to play the way that you be talking over here that you want to play then you're gonna have to put some, some skin, skin in, the, in game. the game so we took out the loan we took a lump sum of whatever the you know we were getting from the government and 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 all of that type of stuff applied that to it paid it off and when i called them to pay off the car loan oh, it's which a is good crazy story too. the they i had to go through a few different managers in order to make that happen um, and when I finally got down to the to the payoff day and got to the manager who I needed to talk to to pay it off, like they gave me such attitude and they were upset that I was using <laughs> for using the money to pay off a car loan when other people were using the money to get into car loans at that time. And we paid off our car loan. Mm-hmm. And then we used the uh, the uh, which is what I was telling you all. We used my uh, unemployment and all that money the government was getting us and we paid that loan back to the we, bank. We had a year to do it. Yeah. And I said, Charlie, <laughs> even though our professional future is in question, I was like, I have faith. I knew we could do it. Mm-hmm. I knew we could pay it off. And I said, I didn't want to come up off this money to pay your car off. I didn't want to have to come up off it. And didn't have to work, uh, uh, go to pay it out of wages. No. We was like, 
I mean, I guess, well, we worked for it anyway because we was using my unemployment, the unemployment and the extra money that, you know, Trump has sent a lump, a lump sum <laughs> of money. We use that. I just knew we could make it work for us, and we did. And we both went into it with, yes, we're going to make this happen. We can pay off your car. We can sell a car that I had that I was ready to sell as well. And Oh, that guy was happy to get that car, too, for what he got it for. It was a steal. Yeah, it was. But, but that gave us the freedom to make different choices. So mm -hmm. when we got our notice that we weren't going to have jobs anymore, and then... Charlie being the very smart man that he is, we were still living in Florida and ready to move to Texas in the middle of winter. He said, no, dear. <laughs> said, I said, people come to Florida for <laughs> to, the winter. To escape winter and you want to leave? He's like, no, nah, we're going to wait. <laughs> and we did. And so we waited almost three months. Yeah, about mm -hmm. three, yeah, about three months before we left Florida. So there was still an opportunity to possibly go back to Disney, but... We, we didn't get those calls, so we decided to leave. No, we didn't get those calls until we moved. Until we moved. Until we were already here. Here in El Paso. Yeah. Yeah, and there just wasn't really an incentive to move yeah. back. But anyway, folks, like, I know, uh, you know, we got out of credit card debt. We were smart with spending our money uh, during the during the, during the pandemic. Uh, we took Finding advantage plan, of like, so many different opportunities mm -hmm. presented to us for uh, rent assistance, uh, food, mm -hmm. um, like Florida was different from, I guess the rest of the country cause Florida didn't really close for that long. So we were able to, uh, come up with a plan. Like I told you, I said, we, we were deciding if we we're going to stay in Orlando, move to Chicago, come to Texas. Ultimately coming to Texas was the plan. I felt like it was a better opportunity here to get into our own business get into the game you know the entrepreneur game myself and because my wife over here the hall of honey had the foresight to um help her husband get past his stubbornness to buy what he want when he wanted and mm -hmm. to plan for the future because what she said was she said well you can get what you want right now and then we still be in debt or or, or. we can get out of debt mm -hmm. and then you can get whatever you want I mean, reasonably, whatever you want, like a new phone. Let's just say new phone. You get a new phone every year if you want. I was like, I like that. <laughs> and mind That's you, the plan for me. We didn't even upgrade our phones till a year ago. A year ago. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we had the iPhone 7. For a long time. Yeah, we just updated. <laughs> we to the, what was it, the 14? 14. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, but yeah, folks, I just wanted to bring her in here, get her... Uh, side get her perspective and, and let you know that you know um, we didn't just get into this game all willy-nilly with no plan and, and, and no foresight we, we got into it we said we were gonna take the learnings that we had at the corporate level at the corporate world for you know for what we were doing and apply it to our business and we, we making it shake I, I like what we got going here in El Paso I like El Paso it's, it's, a, it's a great place to be. Um, the community has supported our business. Now there's a lot of uh, other haulers popping up. So the competition is out there and I love it. Strong will survive, baby. And the last thing I will say is Charlie trusted me enough to go along with this plan. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's hard it when took, you look at your wife and tell us. her. Like, mm -hmm. I told her, I said, is that a Mustang? Yes. I told her, I was like, look, babe, um, me and God, we had a talk. <laughs> yes. And I told him, I said, you know, this is the last time. This is the last time I put my future in somebody else's hands. Somebody else is going to be signing them paychecks. Huh? <laughs> the last time. It's the last time. Somebody else will be signing that paycheck. That I'm putting my future in some, my, my financial future in somebody else's hands. I said, so uh, I'm going after this myself. And she, and she got on board. She was with it. She agreed with me. And, and then we'll get into it later on when we talk about how we started figuring out the logistics for this business. But that's a whole nother topic. Um, I'm almost at the client's house, so we're going to sign off here. And then I'm going to run the holler honey to her place. And then I got another job to take care of while she's doing her thing. So, Dumpster Daddy.
Holler, honey. Out. Out. <laughs>